We're back on the Indiana football signing day special. We'll start to break down the 2015 class individually uh, here in just a moment. This segment, we're joined by offensive coordinator Kevin Johns, cornerbacks coach Brandon Shelby. Guys, uh, thanks as always for the time. Congratulations on a strong signing class that's coming in uh, prior to signing day up until midnight last night, even to the wee hours of the morning. Uh, this recruiting, it, it never stops and goes right up to the last minute, but Hoosiers seem like they have a, just a great amount of athletes in this class. Yeah, we did. We're excited. And, you know, I think when you go to bed uh, uh, the night before, I think you, you sort of know what to expect or what you hope to expect. But until those faxes come through, you're never really sure. Well, we'll start to break down the individual players. Coach Shelby, we're going to start with you and some of the defensive backs. And first up, Andre Brown, listed as an athlete, six feet tall, 190 pounds from Decatur, Georgia. Uh, honorable mention, All-State last year. What can you tell us about Andre? I tell you what, Andre makes you really excited about him, you know, coming to the class. He's a guy who played quarterback in high school, uh, runs around, throws a ball. One thing about a secondary guy recruiting a quarterback, he has a lot of pressure in his face, has to make a lot of decisions quick, and uh, really excited about him also. Uh, does a great job of being physical in the run. I think um, in this class this year, we did a great job of getting guys who are bigger, more physical, because in this league, you gotta, uh, that's what you have to do. You got to stop the run and to be able to defend the pass. Next defensive back, Jameel Cook Jr., 6'1", 190, out of Missouri City, Texas. Uh, has some NFL blood in his family. His father playing in the NFL uh, actually won a Super Bowl with the Bucks back in 2003. Uh, Jameel Cook Jr. Yes, sir. Comes from great stock. You know, his dad played in Big Ten country, so uh, he grew up knowing uh, the, what type of league this is and how to be physical. He does a great job of filling lanes and does a great job of open field tackle, as you see here, uh, and, and has great hand and eye coordination. So he's a guy who's originally from Miami, uh, moved to uh, outside of Houston. So really excited about him and what he brings to the table and the things that we can do with him. You mentioned Jamil being originally from Florida. Our next uh, athlete, Jonathan Crawford, 6'2", 190, out of Largo High School in Largo, Florida. Florida. Uh, it seems the Florida, Georgia area ha has plenty of recruits that have come to Indiana these past few seasons. I tell you what, we've done a great job going down south, getting some speed and some athletic ability up here. Um, you know, uh, Jonathan is a guy who has a big frame, is 6'2", uh, one, uh, 180, 185. Uh, he's a receiver as well, as he did that in high school, so he has great hand-eye coordination. But also, too, uh, um, he also can get in the box, and he's physical, and we're really excited about what he can do and help us in the secondary. And fi uh, finally, the last defensive back we'll get with you, Coach Shelby, is Tyler Green from the East in Waldorf, Maryland, 6'2", uh, 190, one of the top 10 prospects by a lot of these recruiting services out of the state of Maryland. Really excited about Tyler. As you can see, he plays a little bit of corner, and what we try to do is get longer guys. He has a bigger frame, a guy that we can, can definitely go man-to-man, -man, but also, too, uh, be able to blitz and, and, and make tackles and be physical in the run. So he's a guy that is, is, is nationally ranked as, as a, a DB, and we're excited and expect great things from him early in his career. We're going to flip to the opposite side of the ball and uh, start talking with you, Coach Johns, as the offensive coordinator, primarily with quarterbacks and wide receivers. But we're going to toss in a tight end to get things started in Austin Doris, a big frame, 6'5", 225 out of Shadyside, uh, Ohio and Shadyside High School, uh, one of the top 20 tight ends uh, by a lot of these recruiting services, a big frame. He is, and he's really a tremendous athlete, young man that we had in camp um, going into uh, his final season. Uh, so we're excited really about the weight and, and the strength that we can put on his frame. But you're going to see him playing a lot of quarterback here simply because he was the best athlete. Uh, played in the playoffs every single year, won a lot of games. So we're excited about his future. As a senior, threw for over 1,100 yards, rushed as well for over 1,200 yards, can do a little bit of everything. Uh, next on the list is an athlete, Donovan Hale, another big guy, 6'4", 205, another, another player from Largo, Florida. That's right, from a tremendous high school background, great high school program, uh, a true, true dual threat quarterback. Young man that we're going to bring in, starting that quarterback. And if, if you watch these highlights, man, he can do a lot of things when you put the ball in his hands. A tremendous basketball player, had a lot of basketball offers as well. Uh, excited about just his, his frame and his size potential. But uh, truly a guy that can do a lot of things for us. He is the cousin of Jonathan Crawford, who we mentioned earlier. So uh, both of those family members coming here to Bloomington next season. Uh, Isaac James is next up, a guy from right in our backyard in near Indianapolis in a high school powerhouse here in the state of Indiana in Carmel High School, 5'11", uh, 180 pounds, played all sorts of positions in high school for the Greyhounds. He sure did. And again, coming from, a, from just a great high school program here in, 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 in uh, Indiana, was a top five player in this state. Uh, played quarterback, wide receiver, running back, played DB, was a returner, really can just do it all. Uh, phenomenal speed, quickness, and acceleration. 
Uh, just a tremendous young man, so we're really excited about what he can bring uh, to our program as well. There are plenty of wide receivers in this class. Coach, Mil Coach Wilson and yourself have uh, referred to that as already. One quarterback in this class, and that's Austin King, who's next up, 6'2", 190 pounds, uh, from Alpharetta, Georgia, ranked the number 30 quarterback nationally by 24-7 sports. He is, and Austin's a, a strong-armed young man, uh, probably a true pocket drop-back passing quarterback. Had him in here in camp uh, going into his junior season. So we've been recruiting him for a long time. I've built a tremendous relationship. Excited about his leadership capability. Uh, he's won a lot of games there uh, for his high school. And a young man that we really are going to feed as much as we can to him early and see what he can handle. All right, our next athlete is Mike Majette, another guy from uh, the East Woodbridge, Michigan, or excuse me, Woodbridge, Virginia, 5'10", 195 pounds, uh, an all-purpose guy. Uh, what can we expect from Mike? Mike's, again, a lot like Isaac, where he does a lot of different things for his uh, high school program. You're going to see him catching passes. You're going to see him uh, playing Wildcat quarterback and playing defensive back. Uh, I think he's a very smooth athlete. He transitions really well, uh, tremendous change of direction, uh, acceleration, all those things that you want. He's a phenomenal young man. I know he's going to work hard, and, and again, just thrilled to have him be a part of our class. Camion Patrick, a wide receiver, is up next 6'2", 210 pounds from Knoxville, Tennessee. He's a, a community college guy from East Mississippi, 12 touchdowns last year. Uh, what can we expect from Patrick? Camion's going to be a very big, strong, explosive young man. Um, again, like, like you mentioned, is a junior college player, so he's going to be a couple years older uh, than maybe the freshmen that are, that are coming in. But uh, really just a tremendous young man, just a great personality. Uh, just excited about his strength. He catches the ball very well, uh, is able to separate on, on, on long routes. But uh, we expect him to come in and compete right away and make some big plays for us. He won back-to-back -back national championships at that level as well, so has won a, a level a step above high school as well. Uh, Leon Thornton the third is a wide receiver from the Chicagoland area, Lombard, Illinois, 6'1", 195. Uh, that area of the country, and particularly that state, just seems to be a hotbed for high school talent. No doubt. And, and Montini, obviously, you know, they've played in four straight state titles. And so for Leon, when, when you bring a young man that knows how to win and what it takes, I, I just think that he has immediate value to your team. Uh, he's extremely explosive, catches the ball well. Young man that I had the chance to go up and watch in the springtime run routes, and uh, I knew at that time that we needed to get him on our team. Coach Johns, the final member of your position group, we'll talk about Nick Westbrook, another wide receiver, listed 6'3", 205, another player from Florida, one of five players in this class from the state of Florida, Lake Mary, 21 touchdown catches as a wide receiver last year. Yeah, and you know, when you recruit the state of Florida, there are obviously a ton of players down there, and I think Nick went through his senior year and really led the entire state in receiving. He's going to graduate being the all-time leading receiver from his school, uh, just probably as long and uh, as explosive as anyone that we're bringing in this year. And uh, I think he's going to do great things. I think he has a frame to add a lot of muscle and a lot of weight. And I really think the sky's the limit for Nick. There are plenty of wide receivers listed in this class as their position goes, but it seems every guy we've mentioned just seems to be an athlete that can do so many physical things, whether it be you know, a multi-sport athlete, whether they played quarterback and defense on top of being a wide receiver. All of these players can do a little bit of everything. One thing we believe as, as coaches is in high school, you're going to put the ball in the hands of your best athletes. And for us, for Coach Shelby and I to go out and find receivers or quarterbacks or running backs, whatever the position is, um, as long as they have a ball in their hands and they're making plays, we'll bring them here and we'll find a spot for them. But we're excited about the skill um, and the future of this program. Well, Coach Johns, Coach Shelby, thanks for the time. And uh, congratulations on uh, what should be a terrific class coming to Bloomington next year. All right. Thank, Thank you so you much. Appreciate it. We're going to take another break. Next break, we will bring in Coach William Inge and Dylan McCulloch on the other side of this video. We'll take a look at some of the defensive highlights from the IU football team from last season.